Hey, good people. It's just you and me today. No cameraman. It's Sunday and I am, uh, I'm wanting to dispel a little uh, myth, if you will, because, you know, I see people talking all the time about going in and cutting the water sprouts off that epicormic growth. I talked about that on one of my more uh, popular videos a few weeks back. People said, well, fruit doesn't form on that growth. Well, <laughs> says who? <laughs> you know what? We're going to climb up this 12 foot uh, orchard ladder and we're going to look at some of that growth that's formed in this old apple tree. If uh, you will come along with me and oh look right here there it is coming right up off of the branch if we follow that protocol any of these coming straight up we got to cut off because they're not going to produce any fruit yeah well that one grew and produced fruit like crazy this last year right up there at the very top. So while it is true, they're not gonna produce fruit this year. They may not produce fruit next year or the year after that. When I talk about using them to train into branches that are productive, to fill voids that have been created by broken branches or whatever the case may be, use the new growth to your advantage and don't just cut it off because somebody told you that's what you do. There's more to a fruit tree than just cutting off the new growth. It's about training, nurturing, and directing the growth the way you'd like to have it.